Hey guys, welcome back. Orbomb here, bringing you another episode of our PTCGO content. Now today, people, today we are rocking with another Guardians Rising deck. This you guys smash that like button. It's when I'm recording this, it's not quite 40 yet, but I'm sure we'll get there. You guys are pretty dope when it comes to that kind of stuff. So I'll be giving away packs later. But whew, I'm gonna hop on the hype train, <laughs> not because you know I want to. But because this is one of the only decks I have ready right now. I'm still trying to get more codes so and get more decks. But I built a bunch of decks. But I want to get through all these GXs, brand new GXs first, before I start visiting some of the non-GX Pokemon, like the new Lunala, new Sogaleo, Galissapod. Before I start visiting those, I want to get these GXs out of the way. And um, <clears throat> you guys know, I found a love recently. She's beautiful. She's a wonderful lady. Um, she's a huge fan of chicken. It's good. I like chicken. I'm not going to lie. Um, pretty tasty, you know, her name, I'm in love with the coke, I'm, I'm, that was really bad of me, I'm sorry, but we got Tapu Coco, we got our girl, Tapu Coco, the ultimate chicken, <laughs> if you guys don't know my Wi-Fi battles, I don't know if you guys have seen a lot of my Wi-Fi battles, but I nickname all my Tapu Cocos, Kaka, like all caps, it's like whenever the Tapu Coco hits the field, something's getting zapped, <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun today, guys. Sorry for blowing up your ears. But we're playing with the Tapu Coco today. And um, yeah, I'm really excited about Tapu Coco. I made that deck video, the TCG analysis video, a while back dealing with this card. I think it's really cool. 170 HP with no weakness is amazing for an electric tech. Um, no resistance either, which doesn't really matter because like the resistance would have been metal because it's an electric type. But there's no metals in the format, so at least not yet. Maybe Metagross will become big. Maybe Sogaleo will become big. Who knows? But for now... We are okay, and it's got three great things about it. First of all, its arrow trail its, uh, ability is phenomenal. When you play this Pokemon down um, from your hand into your bench or something like that, whatever. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, you may move any number of electric energies from your other Pokemon to this Pokemon. And if you do, switch this Pokemon with your active Pokemon. So it's a great way to, like, it's one of those things where you don't care what's stuck in the active because you can just use Tapu Koko's ability to uh, put it into the, uh, put the new Tapu Coco in the active, which means if you have a damaged Coco in the active, put down Arrow Trail, switch their energies, boom. Then you can hit that boy up with a Max Potion. That way he can't die. So we're pretty hyped about that to get a Hyper. It's the only Hyper Rare out of 125 something packs, all right? <laughs> this is the only thing that was higher than a Fuller I pulled. So, I mean, I'll take it. Uh, it also has Sky High Claw. Uh, Sky High Claw is a mediocre attack, but it's 130, which is actually really nice because you 2-hit KO everything. Um, <clears throat> you Oko things like Eveltal. You already Oko Shaman. Uh, if you have a Choice Band, you're hitting for 160 with a Kikui that's 170, 180, I mean. Uh, I'm not a big fan of playing Kikui in, uh, Kikui in Choice Band Coco, but I'm going to give it a try today just because, you know, I had a little bit of space. Might as well throw them in. I decided to take out the Shaman idea. And so that's cool. We can 2-hit KO things. We can make sure our Pokemon don't die, prevent them from being damaged, all that good jazz. And then we have Tapu Thunder, the boy Tapu Thunder GX. It does 50 damage for each energy attached to all of your opponent's Pokemon, which means if they feel like bulking up, if they feel like getting strong, if they feel like attaching energies everywhere, it don't matter where the energy is. Something's blowing up. Something's going to die. <laughs> I don't know. I like Tapu Koko. I think it's a cool mon because there's so much synergy. You have cards like Aether Paradise Con Conservation Area. Each basic grass and electric type Pokemon takes 30 less damage from your opponent's attacks. All right. So 30 less damage means they'd have to hit 200 to knock you out in one hit. It's pretty difficult to do. And that's not counting having a Fighting Fury Bell attached, giving you 40 more HP, which means you would have 210 HP, meaning they have to hit 240 damage in one hit if they wanted to Oko you. That's not the easiest thing to do in the world. Not even Sol Galeo can do that if he doesn't have a, unless he has a choice band. <clears throat> so that's really cool. Everything else is kind of support for the deck though. We do have one Shaman. I'm a firm believer of one Shaman, two Lele's. My reasoning, because Shaman's not, Shaman's easy to knock out, all right? It's easy to revenge. You have Sky Return if your deck can run Sky Return, but because I'm not, there's no DCs in this deck, I don't feel the need to play two Shamans. Also, Lele is just too strong like you can get your sick and like honestly all you want to do is draw right there's a lot of turns where you don't want to play any specific supporters i'd rather just draw i think shaman one shaman two leles is going to be how i build most of my decks layman's harder to knock uh, 
layman. Tapu Lele is harder to knock out. It has a really cool attack and energy drive as well. And a one retreat cost, just like Shaman does. So, and no weakness either. So like psychic type attacks aren't gonna Oko us. So I think I like Lele, I, I keep saying layman. I like Lele more than Shaman right now. I also have a Jolteon because Jolteon beats a lot of decks. Quad Lapras, um, Volcanion. It just beats it because they can't do much about it unless they get their uh, Ranger. So I like one Jolteon. Also has free retreat, so the lead is not too bad. Flash Ray is pretty good. Swift hits past things, I guess. <laughs> So if you have to do that extra 30 damage and they're using, uh, I don't know, some, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> we have one Raikou. Raikou is really cool in this deck too because we talked about Aether Paradise. We talked about fighting Fury Belt. It also has its own ability, Shiny Body. If it has any electric type energies attached to it, it does 20 less damage. So you can essentially reduce damage by 50 while giving you 40 more HP, which means your HP would be like, what, 160? And then they have to hit you for 210 to knock out a non-GX Pokemon. We might just do straight Raikou sometime with Aether Paradise and see what happens. Because that could be a lot of fun. Maybe straight Raikou with like a couple of Cocos and like maybe two Cocos, a lot more Raikus and focus more on that. That could be a deck list. That could be a lot of fun. Uh, it does, uh, Thunder Lance does 20 more damage for each electric type energy attached to this Pokemon. So if you have three electric type energies, you do uh, 110, 120 with the belt. That's kind of cool. Uh, and then we have our two Lele's. Of course, we already know what Lele does. It's broken. Uh, offer you private yeah, i'll take a look at that later uh we already talked about this now i decided to go with two field blowers because garbador is annoying and i want to make sure that garbador doesn't have its floatstone easy it's really easy to get i think i also play one skyla in this deck list so if i need to get it i can get it with skyla skyla is also here to get things like max potion so we can fully heal in case we're in a dire situation uh that's my phone i'll check on that later we got four max elixirs because all of our pokemon are basics and uh we can attach to all of them and it doesn't matter what we attach to because we can just put down a tapu coco and put all the energies on coco so that's pretty nice um also we have ranger because we're all basics a reverse jolteon could be pretty annoying so ranger's here just for that reason i am playing one rescue stretcher because if i ever have to discard a coco i want it back in my hand it also gives me the option to put the cards back in my d uh, deck but most of the time I'm probably going to be grabbing a coco just so i can Put it down and put all the energies on it and remove anything in the active four trainers mail i'm not a big fan of playing four trainers mail right now but this deck's more about consistency more than anything else i'm afraid of garbador to be completely honest we do play a lot of items two six nine ten fourteen eighteen twenty two uh twenty three 26 26 that's a lot of items so hopefully we can avoid garbador matchups uh garbador is not too big of a deal because we oko with skyclaw and we can avoid a lot of okos as well as long as we play it really smart so there's that benefit um as long as we can keep our stating up and stuff like that so we'll see let's see we'll see how we fare you know what would be pretty nice in this deck as well uh pro tip for a lot of you guys because there's going to be a lot more disruption in the format um Get yourself one of these. Energy Keeper, uh, basic energy attached to your basic Pokemon can be described by the effect of your opponent's attacks, abilities, or trainer cards. So it prevents things like hammers and stuff happening to this deck. Because we really only need three energies on the field at any given moment of time, I think I'm okay with avoiding the Carbink, but Carbink is an option for if you play any basic decks and you're afraid of Disruption. Because Disruption is going to become really popular. Uh, I'll tell you that right now. Uh, let's see. Standard stuff, four Ultra Ball, four VS Seeker, three Paradises, what else? Uh, one Hex Maniac, because Hex is strong. Two Lysanders, two ends, because we got both of those full art, uh, what's it called? Full art ends from the ladder. Whew, lots of time. Uh, Ranger, one Kikui. I'm going to try out the Kikui choice band thing, see if I like it. Three, I am I like three Sycamores. I like three Sycamores because we have Lele now, so Lele can get us Sycamores. We don't really need a desperate, so we don't have to desperately rush to get Sycamores anymore. Uh, I like two Leles too, so well, I mean, we'll see. We'll see how it works. One Skyla. One choice band, three fighting fury belts, and 11 electric energy. That's what they're called. Lightning energies, whatever you want to call them. But that's going to be the deck list, guys. Let's go ahead and get some games with the Tapu Coco. All right, let's get some games. I'm pretty excited. Right now, I'm not in my house, as you probably can tell by the fact that I'm yelling everything and I'm not afraid to be loud because I would be pretty afraid to be loud in my house cause, because uh, family is home and they don't like it. But... I'm at my buddy's house right now, uh, just getting some work done, and uh, he's not home right now. But I'm mean, because I, mean, I usually come here to uh, not be home after school and stuff like that. I just kind of chill here, do my homework, and just hang out here and wait for him to come back home. Ooh, this hand is weird. This hand is word. At least we're going first. Um, 
<clears throat> but yeah, I decided to show. Ooh, we're playing. Oh, this is gonna be a problem. That might be problematic. But we're going first, and he's mulliganing a couple of times, so that's gonna be kind of handy for us. Uh, but because of that, I also record here if I want a more quiet environment or a more free environment to record. Now, quiet is quote unquote because they have a dog that's like to be that likes to be really loud. My buddy Molly, my little baby girl Molly. Um, and then the family itself is loud, but it's pretty easy to like edit that noise out for the most part. Maybe you'll get a little bit of it. Uh, Jolteon. I don't want to put down Jolteon yet because I know what my opponent's playing. Oh, I know what my opponent's playing. Hello. Oh, now I kind of have to put down Jolteon, huh? Sure. Let me do this. Let me do this. So I can I have a max luxury target. That's the reason why I'm doing it. Skyla. It's not really something I'd want to play. But it looks like it's something I'm gonna have to play, huh? Um, that kind of sucks. That kind of blows. I'll grab Skyla here. I'm gonna play Skyla now. Uh, what do I want? I'm not too sure what I want. I'll grab Sycamore for the time being. I don't like losing Sycamore so early, or losing a Seeker, but we don't really need our items anyways. That gives them an opportunity to end us. I just want my energies on the field, and we whiff. That sucks. We play 11 energies, too. And we did have three in our hand, so I understand. Probably should have checked my energy count, to be honest. Uh, I kind of want a Seeker, because he's going to plume me anyways. I'm going to Seeker, because I might as well play it, since it's probably going to be stuck in my deck anyways. This way, I get like a, uh, a Skyla as well, if in case he does end me. But for now, I'm just going to pass. Turn is okay. We don't really want to. We never want to start with a Coco, so I really like starting with Raikou. And guys, I haven't got my booster boxes. Yet. I'm recording this on the release date of uh, the. I'm really. I'm recording this on the fifth, right? It's the release date of Guardians Rising, and um, it should be up by tomorrow, so it should be good. And I went to the store to go grab me some promos because I knew that I wasn't gonna get my boxes today because you know, things don't work out the way I want them to. <laughs> We're playing Lorantis though. Lorantis could be problematic because it can two KO us unless we get our stadium down. Um, but I'm a promo collector, right? And I haven't found any of the Tapu Koko boxes. I think they're not out yet. Um, I think that's going to be the case. Or the, or the, pl or the, um, the pin, not the pin, the, uh, the checkline blisters. The new Lorantis and the new, um, Serena. They're, I mean, they're not, Serena's not new, but the Lorantis is new because it has that ability. And I wanted to get those so I could play some Lorantis decks today. But, uh, that sucks. But I did get the Fickable promo and the Turtonator promo and the new-ish... Toga Demaru promo. It comes with like a weird. This comes with a Sun and Moon base pack, and a um, Steam Siege pack. It was really odd. And it also got me eight extra packs. So I'll be having a pack opening. Hopefully, recording a pack opening video soon. I have to find a place that I can do it that isn't going to be obnoxious, and I don't want to be in anybody's way either. But this man's going in right now. Let's see if he can uh, pull off the Vile Plume turn one. If so, that could be annoying, but it won't be terrible. It just sucks because I won't be able to uh, play another Max Elixir to get a bunch of energies on the field. I'd have to really rely on, um, what's it called? Rely on um, um, cycling through Cocos before I lose the game. But that's not going to be a big deal. It doesn't look like he has a Laurentius yet. Let's see if he goes for Plume. Because he knows I have Sycamore. So I don't know if he'd go for Plume. He's dropping his own stadiums. That's amazing for me because uh, <laughs> because the less stadiums he has, the less often my, my stadium is going to get bumped. And I want my stadium to be in play as often as possible because my stadium is going to help me more than him. Flower supply here. He didn't put Vol he didn't put down the uh, thing yet. What's it called? The, uh, the thing that involves the thing. Can't think of the name. I'm going to let this get knocked out for the moment, I think. Ooh, I could play down Shaman. I mean, that's like one prize, right? I think it's worth it because I need to go speed here. I'm going to go speed. I want to get down some Max Elixirs before he item locks me. Hopefully, I draw stuff that I can actually use, though. Drawing two cards and not... Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let me tell you right now, I was not expecting to draw two Cocos. Um... I'm going to have to get Rescue Stretcher now. Ugh, this sucks. We'll just do it. Whatever. Um, I don't have a choice. That's interesting. I thought I had a choice. Uh, but whatever. I'm just going to uh, Sycamore here. That's the how. I know I play four, but come on now. Really? Really? Let me... 
Let me see what I get off this first before I make a play. Oh, Molly's going to make some noise. Here she goes. Uh, I'm going to grab Hex. Because that would prevent my opponent from wanting to do too much. I want to keep the energy. But I need to get rid of two things. I think I'm going to get rid of the Lysander. I want to get Lele as an option. Molly, you're going to have to give me one second, baby girl. Um, I don't want to lose Coco, though. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> this sucks really hard. Let me go ahead and field blower here. Let me get rid of this and uh, get rid of this because the, the flow stone on shaman doesn't matter as much. Yeah, we'll do we'll do that. I think I'm just gonna hold. I really, really don't. Mm. It's a, it's a weird turn. It's a weird turn. All right, hold on, Molly. You can't do this to me every time I record. Like you only do this when I record, not whenever I'm doing anything else. Silly dog, she only does that whenever I'm recording. I don't know. I want to keep the energy because I might not get it, but I'm just going to grab Lele. I'll drop the energy. Because if I top deck an energy, then we'll be in a decent position. Ooh, let me mute my chrome. And I'm just going to pass here. I can't attack. That was annoying. How did I get? How did I play the Shaman to play smart and then <laughs> draw two Cocos and then get my third one? Oh my god, at least they're not prize. Let me mute Chrome before I forget. Because people like to Facebook message me when I'm recording as well. Uh, Alright, let's see. Did he top deck a Sycamore? Or did he have a Sycamore in his hand? Oh, he had an N. Alright, I'll take the N. I have a chance of getting my um, my items. Yeah, I got Max Luxor. And I got another Coco, so he decides to do big damage to me. He got his last Stadium somehow. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's his last one, right? I didn't get my Stadium yet. Where's my Stadium, yo? If he doesn't item lock me, oh, he's, he can knock me out. Huh? No, he can't. I have 210 HP. He didn't even knock me out. But then I can just do the thing I was talking about. He didn't item lock me either, which is actually super nice. Uh, ooh, Sycamore is great here. All right, let's go ahead. Let's go in. Let's just go in. I, I don't get a knock. Oh, I do get a knockout here, but only with this one. I would need a belt. Let's see if I can get a belt. Let's get some max elixirs going. Nice. Put this here. Let's play another one down. I'm going to keep an energy on this Coco because I can attack with it later. Um, let me go ahead and drop this Coco. Um, we'll move this and this. And we'll just stop there. We can manually attach for the turn. And I'm just going to Sycamore here. And if I get a belt, I Oko this thing. I don't get a belt. Uh, oh, now I wish I moved the energy. I'm going to actually do this now. Whatever. I'll lose the energy. That's fine. But whatever. I don't really care that much. This is his last stadium. He has no way to get a stadium, though. Um, I'm actually going to grab some stuff. I'm going to grab a, a N because he can still item lock me at any given time. N is good because I want to shuffle cards back into my deck. And I think I'm going to grab a Lysander as well because I get two easy prizes. Let me grab a Lysander. I still have another Coco in the deck. I don't need any more items. I can just manually attach for the rest of the game. Um, but for now, I'm just going to go ahead. I don't need to Tabu Thunder because I'm not knocking him out. I'm only hitting 200, right? And he has 210. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and Sky High Claw. There we go. Now, the sad part is we only have one more. Um, one more Coco in the deck because we discarded one. And uh, that kind of sucks. <laughs> It also sucks because um, I, I he's probably going to item lock me before I get a chance to play my rescue stretcher. See? But that's okay because I can knock this out. I can knock this out. I can be super ahead in prizes. I still have both of my Lele, so if he does end me into two, I have a good chance of getting some uh, some um, supporters I might need. And I can still manually attach. Like, I, I'll probably am going to have three turns to manually attach. I won't, I'm, not a, I'm not worried about that. <clears throat> if he chooses to solar blade me, he still gets knocked out next turn. Like this is whatever. Yeah, he's still gonna get knocked out. He decre the damage is decreased by a good amount. E two, so I'm gonna be in okay position. And he just forfeits. All right, Tapu Koko coming through with the power, with the power. Let's go, let's go. I really like Tapu. I think it's gonna be a really cool deck. It's not my favorite deck by any means, oh, because like, you know. It's, it's, it's a similar play style of things I've played before. You know, I'm not terribly excited. Like, Alone Ninetales is cool to me because it's so unique and different. Like, 
it has some really good options. It's like the ultimate tech Pokemon, right? You can either heal yourself, <laughs> do 100, and do a lot of damage, or snipe the bench. Like it's such a cool. I I, I just love Pokemon like Nine Tails. Um, not to mention, oh, my phone is like all the way on the other side of the room. I don't want to go look at it. It should be charging, but I don't think it's charging right now. We whiff the Pokemon. I don't want to start with uh, with Coco, but I mean, we're most likely gonna start with Coco. We do play more Cocos than the other Pokemon. We have a Shaman, two Leles, a Raikou, and a Jolteon. So that's five Pokemon that aren't Cocos, and the other four are Cocos. So we we're bound to start with them at some point, but we just start with a pretty one. So we're good there. Once we get, um, a, once we get, because we're getting, um, we're getting two cards back that's gonna help this deck. Super Scoop Up is coming back. So shout out to the Scoop Up. But we have to be careful. I'm just gonna do this and pass. So we're getting Super Scoop Up back, which is really, really cool. And we're also getting uh, Acerola. Acerola puts any damage Pokemon back into your hand with all cards attached to it. So if you guys saw in that last game, I had that Tapu Koko with an Energy, a Fighting Fury Bell, and Tone of Damage on it. I could have played Acerola to put all those Pokemon back, all those things back into my hand, reattach the Fighting Fury Belt onto the Coco, and then and then use Tapu Thunder for 210 and knocked out the, the opposing whatever it's called Lurantis. Ooh, look at that old school dc i love the way that looks he's gonna stick one here so we're playing against a vespaquin deck so where is my my pocket or choreo man that would be dope imagine pocket or choreo here <laughs> but i didn't want to attach any of my stadiums yet because he could always feel blower it away i'm not really i don't think i'm in any danger of losing in turn one if i get donked by a Lurantis, then i'm okay but i guess we're just gonna keep getting people forfeiting against us so i'll take it i guess i mean it's easy points right let me check this real quick what's going on or see my offer all right guys we're gonna see his offer in a video <laughs> let's take a look i currently have no trade offers oh no never mind oh i don't want this no i'm saving this i'm saving this for giveaways man i'm sorry um I'm gonna tell him that. Sorry, man. Saving him for giveaways and GR packs. Um. So there we go. Let's go back to the game. I hate I hate rejecting trades, but what can you do? Like I'm so limited right now. If I had plenty, like if I had a bunch of packs just chilling in the back, then maybe I'd do that. But whatever. Back to the game. Oh, you know what I didn't do. I didn't check if my mic was muted in the beginning of the video. I hate that this happens, right? Uh, I can't check. Whatever, it's fine. I'll check later. This is my first time playing a lightning deck on the channel in a long time. I'm not a huge fan of lightning decks, but Tapu Koko is cool, right? It's a really cool Pokemon. I want me a playset, and by playset I mean 10 of those lightning energies. Uh, this hand's actually not terrible. Um, I think I'm going to grab Raikou over anything else because I already have a Sycamore in my hand. I don't have a reason to get Lele right now, and I'm preserving Coco, but I think I'm just going to play all these cards down. Let's see, I'm playing against some sort of Eevee variants, so I'm not too sure what I'm playing against, but I'm going to go ahead and drop this. Grab a Raikou, I believe. I don't want to grab my Cocos or anything else, really. So I'll grab my Raikou. We'll max looks around to Raikou because we're trying to put energies on the field, and I'm going to Sycamore and just have a pretty decent turn one. If I can get another... If I can get another Max Elixir land, I can pretty much have a fully set of Coco in one turn. Which could be devastating to my opponent. Uh, I think I'm okay. I'm going to go ahead and do this Elixir now while it's early. And nope. Probably should have not done that to be honest. But I have an attachment for next turn. Ultra Ball gets me a Coco. I'm going to be able to attack with a Coco next turn and then I can sick more again. So I'm okay. I'm not playing against Garb so I feel safe. I'm just going to pass for now. <clears throat> Let's see what my opponent is doing. I uh, I wonder if it's Strafe because I really want to play Strafe Umbreon on the channel, and it's looking like it's a dark deck. Uh, Strafe Umbreon is so much fun. I've been playing it a lot lately. Strafe Umbreon, two Leles, and a uh, Tauros with a single Ladrampa. It's like Strafe Umbreon Disruption. It's so good. <laughs> I've been taking lives with that. I think the only deck I lost against was uh was Gardevoir, was uh St Steam Siege Gardevoir, Despair Ray, Despair Ray. Because the spare ray is like broken right now, 
This is why I tech in a Pseudo Widow on all my decks, which by the way, I'm not playing Pseudo Widow in this deck. And I've been playing Pseudo Widow in almost all my decks, but the reason I'm not playing in this deck is because I Oko <laughs> Mega Ray anyway. And it's not too hard to get set up, so I feel okay. It's just like like who can go, who can attack first, I suppose. Is he gonna retreat? There's no way he retreats, right? Alright, 70 damage is kinda bad, but we have a Tapu Koko ready to attack, so I'll take it. I don't even have to Ultra Ball for it. <sighs> I'll just take it. Yes, give me all of your energy. Give me all of your energy. Alright, let me give you this. I could just get some prizes, like, right now. I think that's a better play, to be honest. <laughs> sure, I'm just gonna grab some prizes right now. Give me this. Give me this. Take this sky-high claw. Caca! <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take this money. Unfortunately, I'm going to be taking a lot of damage this upcoming turn, but we have an N and a Max Luxor off that, so that's actually not too bad. We can set up another... We can set up Raikou again. Um, Jolteon's not going to be doing too much. We're going to be taking 130 damage here, which is kind of bad. So if we can set up another Coco, which is what we could do with this Ultra Ball. You know, if we didn't get End, we're getting End down to 4. It could be problematic if we don't get some cards that we need. But we have two Lele, still some Sycamores. There's a Sycamore right there. We also have a Belt. We can actually attach that Belt to something. But we're going to see what we get off this Trainer Mail first. If I can get an Ultra Ball, then I'm going to probably lose the Belt. But that's fine. I'm not too worried about it. Max Potion would be kind of nice, but I mean, right now, I think the first thing I want to get is... I'm not too sure. What would I want? Max Hooks is always okay. I mean, if I can just get Coco with a Belt this turn, that'd be ideal. But he's going to Shadow Bolt, probably put more damage on our Jolteon because it's already weakened. Um, but we can 2 it KO this with ease. He can't really heal very easily. Seeker is really, really nice. Okay, now an Ultra Ball would, not, would be pretty nice. And we got it. I'll take the Ultra Ball. I can get Fighting Fury. I can get the, the thing later. But here, I'm because I'm going to Sycamore this turn anyways. Let me just go ahead and grab Coco. Uh, we'll grab the Hyper Rare because it's beautiful and it was the first thing there. And we're going to go ahead and switch these Cocos. Uh, move all these energies. One, two, and three. And we're going to put a Belt on our active Coco. And we're going to Sycamore. Look at this deck's consistency. It's beautiful. No max elixirs yet though, which kind of suck, but it's not the biggest deal in the world. I'm actually going to attach this here to avoid any ridiculous knockouts. And I'm going to field blower because I don't want this man having these things to severely weaken my Pokemon. And I can 2 a KO. I'm going to go ahead and play this. If he ends me, that means it's out of the deck. And we got another attachment here. I'm just going to attach the Raikou because Raikou is kind of difficult to knock out anyways. And we're... Oh, I could Tapu Thunder. But that will only do 150, so I'm just going to Sky High Claw. Boom. 140. Two it KO. Give me this money. <laughs> now, the, the thing that's going to be annoying is Tauros. Because Tauros can actually take an attack and then... Um, and then retaliate. So I would need this man to have a bunch of energies on the field. Now with this fourth energy attachment, unless he, if he strafes this turn, I can knock out the incoming Umbreon. Let's see what he's going to do. He's probably going to play, I don't think he'd play N because I only have two cards in my hand, which is kind of cool because I can actually Ultra Ball for Lele to grab Sycamore. Uh, but he's going to go ahead and end anyways. That gives me an extra card. I'm not too worried about it. I mean, my, I didn't have any draw support in my hand. Of course, I could have got draw support with Lele, but like I said, I'm not too worried about it. <clears throat> And there's my Lele anyways, and Sycamore, so we actually don't even need that stuff. There is the Hammers I was talking about, uh, but because of the nature of the deck, I'm not too worried about losing a lot of my energy. This doesn't matter because it doesn't do anything against us. I could end. He's going to Shadow Bolt, which means he's going to go ahead and let himself be knocked out. A Max Potion would be ideal here. You know what I can do? I can actually Lele. I can Lele into Skyla into Max Potion, and I'm actually going to do that because I have no reason to play the cards in my hand anyways. If he ends me, this gives me actually a lot more support. So Lele into Skyla into a Max Potion. I don't see him knocking me out next turn. So let me just grab this Max Potion here. And I'm going to fully heal up this Coco. That way I deny more prizes while getting a knockout. Um, look at that. Look at this. Ridiculous. Little Sky High Claw here. Cacao! That's another two prizes for me. Which means that is a victory for Tapu Coco. How long have I been recording? We'll get one more game. It's been 30 minutes. We'll, we'll go ahead. We'll treat you guys today with the Coco Madness. Let me see if we... I did feel bad, so I'm going to just respond. Um, all right. All right, dope. 
Look at that. Look at this. Look at the cons the consistency is beautiful. The deck is strong. It's a very like people underestimate the power of two hit KOing. Like a lot of people are thinking, well, if it can't two hit KO, or if it can't Oko, then it's probably not going to be that great. Well, two hit KO means your opponent needs to scrabble to do something. You're making them l use a lot of their resources. Well, you don't really need to use that many resources at all. And I'm so happy that we have um things like Lele because that makes cards like uh what's it called a uh, fan Pokemon Fan Club. Rangers better and Skyla's better too. Like it makes so many decks, so many cards, so many better, so much better. And my English is, you know, <laughs> my English is taking a toll today. Uh, let's see. My hand's not too bad. If I can get like an Ultra Ball into a Max Elixir, maybe that'd be kind of nice. We're going second though. I don't want him to end me because my hand's actually kind of stacked. Maybe he'll put down a bunch of stuff and that'll help me out. We're playing against Fire. Okay, this is gonna be tough. Volcanian is always a tough matchup because Volcanian can hit really hard. We're playing against some weird decks. I mean, I don't know. I don't like Flareon and Volcanian. I don't like Dive Ball and Volcanian either because you have Nest Ball anyways. Unless, unless this man's playing Starmie, I don't really like it. But he's probably playing Starmie. And I don't like Starmie either. But I'm pretty sure Starmie won a big tournament at some point in time. I remember that was like a huge thing for a little bit. But Volcanian's a weird matchup, but they also have to put down a bunch of energies on the field. So if I can, uh, if I can um, top with Thunder, if I can top with Thunder at the at the right time on the right Pokemon, I can get a big knockout early game. Let's see if he gets any Float Stones or uh, shenanigans like that early game. So I have a, some, I have a reason to use Field Blower before I lose it. I do have two Field Blowers in the deck though, so I'm not too worried about it. He's gonna scoundrel ring here. Let's see what he can do. I also play Hex Maniac, so if I need to play Hex, I can. Hex means I won't get knocked out. Let's see what we get here. And more, more Volks, more Volcanians. I'm glad I could use these sleeves to good use though. Nice, nice Tapu Koko uh, sleeves for the Tapu Koko deck. I always use this because it's just easier to keep track of. I don't have to worry about different deck things. Unless there's like a deck that's like... If I had like a Tapu Koko deck box, which I'm pretty sure I do. No, maybe I don't. But if I do have one, I could put it in this. That way I know it's my Tapu Koko deck. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm weird. Forgive me. But let's see. This man's going in. This man is going in. It's always oh, it's Volcanian, so no matter how you build it, it's most likely going to be consistent because Volcanian is just a strong deck. And that is undeniable. Even though a lot of people know I don't like playing Volcanian or playing against Volcanian, I don't really care. I can't deny that it's a strong deck. But, I mean, look at this. If I had my uh, Pseudo Widow here, he would not have that many bench Pokemon. He, could only, he probably wouldn't be able to bench that Shaman, and then he wouldn't have drawn as much. But he has three energies on the field now, which means if I get a choice band, I get a knockout. If he gets another Max Elixir land, I don't even need a choice band. But I would also need to get three energies on the field too. I need to get three energies on the field and another Tapu Koko. But there's his float stones, which means I can actually use my field blower now. Uh, let me see what I get off these first though. A Lysander, I mean, I'll be able to discard it at least more supporters in the discard pile for uh, the VS Seekers. And there's Ultra Ball. Do I want Ultra Ball right now though? Ultra Ball gets me another basic. I'll grab Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball actually gets me Jolteon, which is kind of big. We're gonna be losing a lot of stuff, but I mean, I'll take the Ultra Ball to be honest. I'm probably gonna play Sycamore this turn. I'm gonna lose a Max Potion, but whatever. And Jolteon's prized, huh? Yeah, makes sense. Let me grab Raikou. I'll put a belt on Raikou. Hopefully I can get an energy on it this turn. That'd be ideal. That way I don't not get knocked I don't get it knocked out as easily. Let me get rid of both of these. Actually, let me get rid of the one. Yeah, let me just get rid of the ones on Volcanian. Those are the threats. I'll get rid of the two on those are both yellow. Nice. Yeah, because those are the ones I don't want having them. And I'm just gonna go ahead and sycamore here. A couple of max elixirs and attachment would be really nice. Fortunately we don't get those. Uh, but this Aether is gonna be super duper handy. Um we'll get let me actually grab this mail. And I think between turns, guys, I'm going to... I'm actually going to go check my phone. So I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead of my turn.
All right, did he do anything crazy? He's ready to hit me up, steam me up, and get a knockout, as expected. That sucks. Not gonna lie. But we'll power through. And yeah, a lot of you guys know that I broke my phone recently. It was on Easter. And I haven't been able to like get the money to fix it yet because it's gonna cost me a bit to fix it or get a new phone. So I have my brother's old phone, which is pretty garbage. The battery lasts about three hours and uh, the charge is all fidgety as well. So rip me. Toko's gonna go down, unfortunately, but like whatever. He did just enough to knock us out too. That's crazy. All right, let's see what we can do here. An attachment's nice and we're gonna play Sycamore here. I could also end, but end doesn't really, I guess end preserves my max potions and puts it puts them down to four. I'm going to play end. Hopefully it's not too risky. I need off this end. I need another cocoa and a max elixir. No, oh, I got it. <laughs> I got the cocoa and I got the max elixir. I can also get a Lele for next turn as well. But the thing is I need to land it now. That's going to be the tough part. Um, I also need two Pokemon. Let me actually grab Coco. Let me grab Lele to get Sycamore now. I want to keep the Max Potion just in case. So let me grab Lele. Lele puts a Pokemon on the bench. And if I whiff this Max Elixir, rip me. <laughs> rip me to the ground, dude. If I whiff this Max Elixir. Come on, Max. Come on, Max Luxor. Don't fail me now. Give me this Sycamore. Got a Sycamore for next turn already. Now, please, Max Luxor, please land. Rip me to the ground. Oh, my goodness. And you know what sucks? I kind of have to go into my Coco and lose an energy. Because... That sucks. Oh well. Because I don't want to lose both of my energies on my Pokemon. So I'm just going to lose one and switch into Coco. Uh, I'm going to click done. I could have retreated, but I would have retreated into Lele and nothing would have changed. Alright, let's see if he whiffs his um his energies. God, whiffing that Max Elixir sucks. I play so many energies too, but I guess that's just what happens, man. You can't get every, can't get every Max Elixir land, even though there's only three energies gone altogether. <laughs> and, th and like... There's already been like a bunch of cards out of the deck already, you know, rip me. And he got to uh, an energy retrieval, so rip me again. Things are not going my way. I think we're going to lose this game, guys, unless he gets like... No, because he can just energy retrieval. Yeah, it's game. That's pretty much game. I don't think there's a way I can come back from this. Ugh, I can't believe I whiffed that, man. I could have at least gotten damage off. I could have... Oh, I probably would have knocked this out. Well, that's not true. He didn't have enough energy on the field. Never mind. Uh, I would have done 150... I don't have belt either, so yeah, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have knocked him out. But still, I could have at least got damage off for next turn. If he attaches one more energy, I can knock it out, which would be really nice. Let's see if he attaches. He doesn't attach. He's playing really well around it, but that sucks, man. This actually like has just enough. If I had my Sudowoodo, that's why I play Sudowoodo on all my decks, man. That's why. Right there. That's why. Um, let's see. Another Coco, which I'm going to have to lose. Do I, I still have two more in the deck. I don't want to bench that Coco. Because, you know, why would I want to bench that? Oh, okay, look. All the energies that I needed earlier are here now. Oh, wow. <sighs> All right, guys, we're going to forfeit this game because we lose. All he has to do, I guess, I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. I'll let him knock out one more Pokemon. We'll see if I can do something next turn. It sucks that we're so behind like this. If he has a Lysander and another way to get energies, we lose. There's a max elixir. I guess we can get a big knockout on the... Well, if we knock this out, we'll be in an okay position. Because he has a hard time getting prizes. He also needs a steam up to knock us out as well. Because he only does, what, 110, 120 right now? 20, 40, 60, 80, 130. He does 130, which is not enough to knock us out, but there's a steam ups. Let's see if he goes for Lele, though. If he goes for Lele, he wins. If not, we have one extra turn. One extra turn gets us nothing really. I just sick more and lose all these energies. Where's my super rod? Do I? Play? I'm pretty sure I play super rod, right? Do I not play super rod? Maybe I should play a super rod. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I originally played a super rod, and I think I took it out for some reason. He's gonna end me, so end him down to two, and me back to six, I guess. Maybe I can get some max elixirs here. We got a belt, and okay, well, all the things I could have used earlier. How many max elixirs have I played? I've only played one. Come on, game. 
Hook a man up at least. Come on. Parallel is bad because now he gets a knockout. And there goes my easy prices. <laughs> Rip me, dude. Rip me. No. I'll go ahead and attach a belt to this because he has a harder time knocking it out at the very least. And we'll see what we can get. Sycamore. I mean, I was going to Sycamore anyways. I'm probably going to end again. Uh, let me grab this. Do I end? I mean, if I end, that puts him down to one card. But Sycamore seems like the better play because I need to get stuff. Stuff would be really nice right now. All right. Okay. So here's what I need to do. I need to Ultra Ball these away to get a Pokemon. Any Pokemon on the bench, even if it's a Tapu Koko. Uh, I'll take Lele. Lele gets me something, I guess. Oh, I'd like to search a deck, sure. Lele gets me a Hex. Hex is actually really big. So let me grab Hex. I can get a knockout on this this turn. If I can land this Elixir. So please let me land this Elixir. Thank you. Look, now all the energy show up. All right, now we can get some knockouts here. Um, move this. And we'll move this. Then we'll attach this. And now we can Tapu Thunder GX. We have a Hex for next turn if I need to Hex. Um, we can potentially bring this back if we can get another rescue stretcher. Tapu Koko and Max Luxor is big here because if he does damage me for whatever, uh, if he has a way to damage me, then I'm in a good position. I might just end him as well, keep him at one card. Uh, that's kind of bad that he got that. Let's see if he has an energy to go with it. Oh, please whiff. Whiff as many times as I did, man. No, he doesn't whiff. Oh, he puts it on the wrong. I'm surprised. Does he have a, an, oh, he has a Sycamore. How? How? My opponents are lords, and I can't do anything about it. Oh, that sucks so hard. I can end him again. I don't know what's better, ending or hexing. Do I have a max potion? I don't think... I, I might have one more, actually. It's going to be kind of difficult. Oh, he's only going to do 20, but 20... Oh, he's going to do 0 because of Aether. Hey, shout out to Aether. Do I like... I'm a thing. I'm just going to keep hexing. I think I'm going to try to spam hex for a bit. Let me see if I can land more of these. There we go. There we go. I'm going to put it on this because it's harder to knock out. I'm going to spam hex and keep going for attacks. And we're going to go ahead and sky high claw. I think it's a knockout. Yeah. All right. So we have a chance. Are we going to bring this back? Can we bring this back? Oh, there's my Jolteon. There we go. But Jolteon, it's a little bit too late. I don't have enough energies. There's only eight cards up to my deck too. I can always end him if I feel like it's necessary. Hexing just seems kind of smart, though, because he can never Oko me. He's going to put a belt on that one. I wish I still had my GX attack, but I had to knock out that Flareon. That Flareon was too much of a threat. He's going to Lysander me into this, which means now I need another energy. Now, I know there are energies in the deck, which means I don't think I can Hex. I think I'd rather attach manually. It sucks that he's doing damage to me, though. Look at that. That's so threatening. That's incredibly threatening. I'm pretty sure I lost all my belts as well. Mm. I actually don't need an energy. I can just drop Coco. Uh, there's still one more belt in the deck, potentially. Now, the thing is, if I drop Coco, I can do 130 plus 20 more, which is 150. 150 is not a knockout unless I get a belt. So it's not really something I want to risk doing. But I am going to play this. Choose energy cards. Give me this. Give me this. And give me this. I can manually attach the Coco. Um, but I have to play N, I think. Which sucks. I could also just Hex and go and hope for the best. Mm, but I think N is my play. <sighs> Maybe Hex is my play. This is a weird play. I don't know what the best play is. I think I focus on the 2 at KO. I'm just going to play Hex here. If I play Hex, I'm stuck because I don't have any more Lele's. I'm going to have to really rely on the top decks. <laughs> I have another... Let's see, what do I have? I have... I think I have all of my ends. No, there's one more end in the deck, and I have one more Seeker in the deck. So we're going to really bank on this. We don't get a knockout here, unfortunately, but... Like... This is my best way to play around this <laughs> situation because we whiffed too many early game Elixirs, which was really bad so i mean that's just the bad luck of the deck i think the matchup's relatively even if you can play it right 
Uh, but I think I got the sour end of the stick. Let's see what he's going to do, though. He can just attack again and just keep setting up his Pokemon. I would only need one more big knockout. He's going to Seeker. What's he going to do with Seeker? Is he going to Lysander? And he's going to Sycamore. Oh, my God. Can I top deck an N or a Seeker? If they're both in the deck, that's like, what, a 1 in 2 and 7 chance? That's, that's almost a 1 in 3 in chance, right? That's almost a 1 in 3. Come on. <laughs> Come on, no, no, <laughs> help me out, please. All right, he's on power heater for nothing. I get a knockout next turn, but he can get a knockout the following turn after that. So I have to be careful here. Top decks, that didn't work. I was hoping if I yelled top deck, it would have worked, but um, do I have Shaman in there? I guess we find out now, right? Shaman, are you in here? No. So I have the elixir. I have the N, but I don't have a seeker. Welp. That's probably actually you know what? Let's play Kakui. Oh my god, it's not helping right now. It's not helping right now. We're gonna sky a claw here. Let's see if he can win next turn. He's probably gonna win next turn, but you know and we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. There's the shaman that I was just looking for. Shaman would have been dope there, because I could have grabbed an N. I would have I mean, there would have been a very low chance that I whipped the end. I'm not going to lie. Um, I mean, I guess we'll just see if he can win next turn. Can he get enough steam ups? Where's my pocket team rockets handiwork? Oh, there it is. Well, that is game, guys. I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm just going to leave because, you know, I should have left a while ago. <laughs> That's going to be the game, guys. Unfortunately, we lost that game. Uh, early game was pretty, pretty, pretty garbage for us. But overall, I really, really like the build. I think the build's very consistent. I think it's very strong. Um, I think it's very easy to get around your item situation because you can play against garb. You can play the slow game pretty, pretty easily. Lele is nice because you can Lysander around. Um, two Lele is just really strong. Unfortunately, that one time I played the, the the one the one time I'm, I'm like flexing about only playing one shaman and it's prized it would have been nice right there. But I mean, for the most part, you generally want to avoid playing shamans because it's easy prizes for your opponent. Uh, unfortunately, and we couldn't get belts either. I play three. Uh, I don't. I think. I think. I think I was right about choice ban at Kikui. I don't think there's going to be a lot of times where I feel the need to get a two eight KO. So if I were to play this deck again, I'll definitely drop those two. Um, maybe one more energy so we can actually land Elixir's early game. And what else would I do? You can really add anything you want. You can add a fourth Sycamore, which I didn't think we needed. I think I'm going to add just another belt because belts are really good. Um... Belts mean it's harder for your opponent to knock us out. If we had belts, our opponent would never would have never knocked us out with those of those of Flareons early game. We would have been really we would have been in a good position. We would have been in a great position if we got those belts at the right time. So I like four belts. I like the deck as it is now though. This is definitely the deck list I would play if I want if I wanted to play this deck competitively, which I kinda do and I might play it, but I need all the rarities of Coco IRL first. But that's gonna be the deck list, guys. Be prepared because we're gonna be doing a lot of live deck matches as well on the channel. Hopefully I can meet up with my friends and do that too. I have one already recorded but i'm not too sure if i want to upload it because it was like it was like a weird steamroll in my favor <laughs> so i'm not too sure if i actually want to upload that um but that's gonna be the video guys drop a like let me know in the comments down below what you want to see me play subscribe remember if this video hits 40 likes five people in the comments down section down below that answer the common question of the day which is who is your favorite tapu i'm a big fan of coco lately i'm kind of up there i really like finny i think finny would be my favorite um Who's your favorite Tapu in the comments down below? And uh, five lucky people, if this video hits 40 likes, we'll get a chance of winning two Sun and Moon base and one Sun and Moon Guardians Rising pack. So go ahead and drop that like, go ahead and comment, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.